Hello, welcome to week 4, unit 2, opening and closing files. When you work with files in Python, you always use the same steps. Working with files basically consists of three steps. The first step is opening the file. Then you access the file to read or write its content. And finally, you close the file again. What's important to know, whenever you open a file, you should give a mode. This mode defines if you read the file, if you write the file, or if you want to do both. We will see both opening files, closing files, and how to specify the mode in the Jupyter Notebooks. So again, it's showtime. Let's switch over to our Jupyter Notebooks and see how we open and close files in Python. The first thing we need to talk about is where a file is located. Nowadays, a lot of your programs and apps you use assume that the file is just somewhere on the computer or the smartphone. And you as a user should not worry where these files are located. For example, do you know where your music files on your smartphone are stored? Nevertheless, if you want to access files using programs, you need to know exactly where they are located. Important for this notebook, and actually all the notebooks whenever we work with files is, unless stated otherwise, the file that we're trying to access is located in the same directory as the notebook. If you download the notebook, store it somewhere on your laptop or computer, then the files that you would try to access are located in the same spot. So let's see how we can access files in Python. As mentioned before in the introduction, accessing files in Python consists of three steps. First, you need to open the file. Opening a file is not everything you need to do, but also to assign the file you just opened to a variable so that you later on can access it. Accessing the file depends on what you want to do. Either you read from a file, which is called read access, or you want to write to a file, which would be called write access. Sometimes you also need to do both, then you need to have read and write access. And finally, it's important to always close the file, otherwise your data may be corrupted. For each of these operations, there are different functions and or methods in Python. So opening a file is performed using the open function. Then you assign the resulting file to a variable and afterwards you can access it using write, read or close methods. I'll show you this in an example later on. Before we go into more detail how to read and write files, we will now have a look at the different modes. When you open a file in Python using your open function, you need to specify as an additional parameter if you want to read or write the file. A few more modes than the ones I will be introducing right now. For detail, you can have a look in the Python documentation. Here are the different modes I explained. For now, we stick what we have in our notebook. So basically, as mentioned before, you can have read and write mode, but there are subtle differences between the different modes. For example, the simplest access is read-only access. You would specify read mode R. What happens if you try to read a file? You get an error in Python whenever you try to write the file. So if you open a file using read-only access and later on try to write the file, you get an error. And this also happens when the file is not existent. So if you try to read a file which is not available, you get an error. In contrast to that, you can use the W mode, write-only. This creates a new file if the file is not present and you get an error if you try to read the file. One important thing to keep in mind whenever you use the write mode W, it overwrites all the existing content. That means if you have a file already 
available that have some data in it, and you open it using the write-only mode, the file is erased. So it's basically empty afterwards. And that's the reason why there is not only read and write mode, but for example, there is also the append mode. The append mode, the A, appends new contact to the old file. Yeah? So when you have an existing file and you want to add stuff to it, you would probably use the append mode. And then there is the read-write access, which is specified using R+. This enables you to read and write a file. Still, you get an error when the file is not existent. And finally, there is a write and read access, which also would create a new file. Our recommendation clearly is that you always specify a mode when opening a file. In the simplest case, if you just want to read data, specify the R mode. Otherwise, you need to decide what you exactly want to do with a file. So, let's see how all this is done in Python. The first thing we are trying to do is to create a file. Right now, we don't have anything that we can read or from or write data to. So, the first thing we are going to do is we create a new file and immediately close it. That's exactly what is happening here. So, the file is opened for writing. We specify the W mode here, which means if the file is non-existent, it is created. And afterwards, it's closed immediately. So, the file is created and nothing is written to it. Let's have a look. So, if I go to my Jupyter server, and this is the folder where my notebook is located, I refresh this again. You see, there are a few files, numbers1 and numbers2.txt, the lorem imsum.txt, a readme, and the student CSV. That's the files I have already, and there are also my notebooks. What I now will do, I will execute this cell. When I do this, nothing happens, nothing is printed. I don't have a print statement, but we, what we now can do, I can go back to my folder and refresh it. And here we have the new file. So actually, we really have a new file on the file system. If I now open it, it's just a text file, an empty text file with nothing in it. But this program here, using the two statements, open with the mode W and afterwards closing the file again, created a file on the file system. What we could do next, we could now open the file in read mode and read data from it. So there is no data in it. It would be a pretty boring program, but nevertheless, let's try it. The following small program opens the file, specifying read-only mode. Remember, if the file wouldn't be present, we would get an error, and then the file is closed again. I also execute this program, and you see there is no error. What we now can do, I go back here, and mark the new file and delete it. Of course, you can also do this in your, in your file system browser um, using the Finder in, in Mac OS or, um, or the Windows Explorer. I just used the, the Jupyter Notebook server here. Um, it doesn't really matter where you do it. Anyways, I now deleted the file, though so that means this new file dot txt doesn't exist anymore. And if I now execute the program, I get an error. And the error tells me what actually happened. You see, file not found error. There is no file at the path I specified, which is the same directory. And they're just looking for a file called new file. So this basically proves what I stated above. If you try to open a file, in read-only mode and the file is not existent, you get an error. The next thing we will look at is using 
the with statement to open files. As mentioned before, it's always important to close files again after you open them. Especially if you write to file, if you don't close the file afterwards, you might lose some data. And it's quite difficult to make sure that the close method is always called. There is a special statement that helps us with handling these situations. Why is it difficult? Why is it difficult to make sure a file is closed? Well, I'll, I'll jump back to the little program that tries to read a file. So I have a my program here, it opens a file, and then let's just assume we're doing lots of complex stuff here. And then suddenly, uh, error is raised for whatever reason. And this would, could mean that this error is raised, the program is stopped, and file.close is never called. So we never invoke the close method. And if this happens, we might lose data. And that's exactly the reason why this with statement is created. The with statement changes the approach for opening files a little bit. Instead of calling the open functions and assigning the result to a variable, we do the following. We use the with statement. To open a file, we now call with. Then we use the open function, with open, which has a path to a file and a read-write mode. And we assign this to a variable using the as statement. So with open as file basically assigns the result of the open function to this variable. But as you see now, there is a colon at the end. So that means we open a new block here. And in this block, the whole file handling happens. In this little example program, we go through the file line by line and print it. As soon as the execution leaves the, the block that is opened by the with statement, the file is closed. So Python takes care of closing. Note that I don't need to call this close method explicitly. And that's the approach you should always be using when working with files in Python. So instead of opening and closing it manually, you would use the with statement with open as a variable, and then you do whatever you want to do with the file. And what is shown here is how to read a file line by line. That's pretty easy to do. You can use a for loop for it for each line inside the file we are going to print the corresponding line. Let's execute the program. And what you see down here, we get as a result the content of the file we specified up here, lorem ipsum.txt. And we could also have a look at it. And you would see the file contains seven lines. And it's the same, which is printed by our Python program. One thing you might have noticed is that we get additional empty lines here. Um, that's something we will solve in a later unit where we also will explain why these empty lines appear. So with that, let's jump back to our slides. What have you learned in this unit? In this unit, you have learned how to access files. We have used the different modes, read and write mode, to read files and write files. Actually, we didn't write any content yet, but we have used the mode to create a new file. I've shown you the with statement, which is the approach you should always be taking when working with files in Python. And I also mentioned that you always should know where the files that you work with are stored on your computer. Thanks for watching and see you in one of the next units.